Hi all, welcome back to Vidya Technologies. Okay, in this particular series of journey, we will be understand, understanding everything what is required for you in order to understand uh, the particular DevOps journey. Okay, so this we will try to understand because you need, before going into the DevOps journey, you should start with the Linux and then with any cloud and further you need to move to the DevOps journey. So we will try to understand the basics for today, the hardware components, how your system will be working in and around, we will try to understand and this series will be free of cost which we will be publishing on daily note and it will be in English and the trainer will be me and if you have any doubts you can post it out all of your doubts over the comment section and still if you are having any particular doubts you can reach out over the groups in the WhatsApp and Telegram which we will try to mention over the description. And still, if you are unable to solve any of the doubts, you can directly ping to the me, ping to me until uh, it will be free till concepts gets over. And uh, every Saturday and Sunday, we'll try to come on live if you have any doubts. Okay. And uh, mode of training will be online. Yeah. We'll try to understand all the hardware components. That is nothing but your CPU, your RAM, your ROM, and your NIC card. All of these things we'll try to understand. So what is a CPU? CPU is Central Processing Unit. CPU is nothing but Central Processing Unit. Whenever you try to any, uh, perform any particular task, whether it could be opening of a paint, whether it could be notepad or whether it could be some X, Y, Z, any task, notepad or something. So all those things will be open. Okay. All this particular process, whenever you try to do any of the things, okay that will be performed with, with the help of your CPU. CPU is the responsible person. CPU is the responsible component in all of your hardware which tries to do that particular task for you. Whether it could be any particular task in your computer. And ALU arithmetic logic unit will be also there in the background. So that is a different story. But CPU is the responsible thing. And RAM. RAM is nothing but a temporary storage. RAM is nothing but temporary storage like let's say in your mobiles or something if you try to see in your laptops so 4 gb of internal and 16 gb of external 4 gb is nothing but ram and 16 gb is nothing but your hard disk space so ram is nothing but a temporary storage so whenever you try to perform any of your tasks first things get loaded into your hardware and that but uh, ram and ram will distribute all of these things to your cpu base okay so even my mouse whatever i'm trying to rotate okay that will be stored into your ram and ram will distribute so let's say that you have 30 process which you need to execute okay that you which you need to execute on a clear note so on 31st tab what will be the things on 31st tab the process will be new process so something the 30 process will be whenever you try to open once again so let's say you have phone Okay, in your phone, there are 30 particular applications or tabs that you are trying to open. So once again, uh, the, the, the 30 particular tabs, whenever you try to open, all those things will be loaded. You no need to worry because all these things will be loaded into your RAM. And whenever you try to open 31st tab or something, that will be treated as a new process because your RAM is capable enough in order to store only limited process. Okay, only some limited, if you have 4 GB, it can store 30 tabs, 30 process, and if you have 60, uh, like 32 GB or 64 GB, it can store 60 tabs or 128, 120 process, something at a time. So whenever you try to request a particular thing for the new, new particular, okay, new process which need to be executed, whenever you try to see, okay, um, Whenever RAM is there, right, this particular thing, I will try to draw and show you as well. So let's say you have 4 GB of RAM, 4 GB of RAM in the sense around, so 8 process that you are trying to store some, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and after that 8 process, 8 process will be there automatically in your RAM. So whenever you try to see in your previous apps, WhatsApp or something, Swiggy or any application, if you have not closed and if you have given home and eight process will be there in your RAM. And whenever you try to open first after ninth particular process, this particular thing, the first process will be closed and this ninth process will be coming into the plan. I mean, eighth process will be coming into the plan. This will be treated as new particular process and this will be 
treated as first browser. Second will be becoming a first. This will be removed from your RAM. So again, whenever you try to request, the things will be, again, it will try to load into your RAM and that will become the first process. Okay. And ROM is nothing but it is a permanent storage. It is a permanent storage. So let's say you will be having HDD hard disk. You will be having SSD, NVMe. So these were called as hard disk kind of thing. So if you try to see hard disk, okay, the 512 GB or something, 112 of uh, uh, like 1, 256 of uh, GB. So these were permanent storage. Whenever you want to have your photos or whenever you just want to have your uh, videos or XYZ that you want to store in your computer, that will be stored in your computer and even if your uh, computer is shut down. So it is a permanent storage here and hard disk will be different, different types of hard disk will be available. So hard disk with respect to HDD will be with lesser price, okay? and a particular uh, rotation will be happening inside your computer okay a fan will be there for all of your cooling that is called as hdd which will be of less price and ssd will be there SS hdd will be stand for standing for ssd hard disk drive hdd which will be of lesser price and this will be of SSD, solid state drive, which will be higher price and magnetic magnet will be there inside that and uh, number of things. So whenever you try to read any of your things, so read and write operations will be going on in your computer. So let's say, uh, okay, let me open something, sublime. Okay. So let's say whenever you try to open any of your hardware, so something, so hard disk will be there or SSD will be there. In this particular thing that you want to write, like I'm doing some of the other options with respect to in, in a particular notepad, something. I'm trying to write some of the content, this content I just want to write. So what happens here, a content I'm trying to write, okay, some write operation is going on. Generally, read and write operations will be going on your hard disk. So whenever you are trying to open some existing file that is called as read operation. And whenever you are trying to open some of the file and try to do some of the modifications that is called as write operation. So how fast or how efficient your read and write operations were happening with your hard disk will be deriving the capacity or the power of your hard disk. If your read and write, write operations are very high, then your hard disk is designed okay ssd your hard disk is called uh, will be having high power you can see okay so if it is very slow you will be calling it as slow okay so this is called as hardware hard disk and finally you'll try to, even this here you will be having hdd which is nothing but a particular uh, like rotations will be the rotations will be happening if you try to see let me open it down. Okay, HDD hard disk images if you try to see. This will be rotating. This particular maybe is there, right? This will be rotating. This will be rotating continuously. This one. This particular thing is there, right? This one, if you try to see. Okay, this will be rotating on your CD. This will try to do some of the read and write operations. And next to that, you will you'll have fan as well for all of your controlling your heat and everything. Next, you will try to have is SSD. SSD stands for solid state drive. So what is this particular thing, SSD? You will be having high power i mean magnetic magnet will be there you will be able to process all of your data a bit faster and uh, nvme kind of things are also available these were called as super flash devices these were called as flash devices kind of okay so all the things will be loaded very fastly so this is kind of a hard disk kind of version say. so whenever okay you you have been derived some s technologies you know okay s technology came into the market 
okay and as with that you will try to have seta disk skissy disk okay serially attached devices so these are all some of the types of your hard disk so this ssd have started and which has high power skissy disk okay uh, so these were some of the hard disks on ross note you can remember a hard disk is something which can store all of your data on a permanent if you try to see in my computer as well there will be c drive d drive and many other things right that is called as hard disk so whenever your computer is also turned off all the data whatever you have stored in your computer within your d or something the data will be there so if you try to see uh, i did not have partitions guys sorry so this is c so whatever i try to store that is a permanent data okay and next you will try to have nic card network interface card nic is called nic is nothing but network interface card network interface card which will be used in order to have some of the communications you will be having ethernet ports and all of this right for all of your internet whenever you just want to talk with outer world all of these things you will have this nic card nic card is basically ethernet kind of ports so if you try to see nic card images these were all of the some of the images okay nic card this ethernet port ethernet okay so yeah so if you try to see this is cpu or server or something computer which you can assume this is called as cpu guys server and next to that you will try to have cpu cpu is nothing but central processing unit and this will be manufactured by some of the companies okay intel intel company is there which is very famous for all of your laptops i3 will be there i5 will be there i7 i stands for intel i9 is there so in i3 you will have some cores okay the number of cores will decide the particular factor how efficiently or how fast your particular process is about to load into your ram and in your cpu is capable to open that particular process will derive the capability will show the capability of your cpu so how fast within nanoseconds if your cpu is able to open that particular process if your cpu is open to is capable enough in order to load that particular game that is called as the, that derives the power of your cpu there. so in i3 and i5 and all of those things will be also there so i3 will have some cores and if you have two cores that is called as okay dual cores so two cores in cpu that is called as dual cores and if you have four cores that is called as okay quad core and if you have eight cores octa core something like that okay this where this derives the number of cpus if there are more the processing power in order to perform that task will be also vary that is called as and if you try to see in i3 there will be some cores and in i5 there will be more cores and in i7 there will be much more cores okay that is called as cpu and ram is nothing but <coughs> random access memory Okay, RAM. ROM is nothing but okay. read only memory. So this is permanent storage space. RAM is temporary storage and RAM 2 TB and all of these things are permanent storage. And this is NICA, Ethernet port. Okay. These were all the things which we have studied. And on general note, basic utilities of the system are CPU, RAM, ROM, and NIC card, interface card. And the next one, in order to check in your things, okay, you will try to open, uh, like you will try to open your Windows laptop and task manager, and you will try to see the performance, okay, where you will be able to, so if you try to see, so this is nothing but which tries to tell all of your CPU, how much of CPU your computer, your laptop is being used, and your memory. You have around 8 GB of RAM in this particular thing, around 6 GB is utilized. That is called as RAM base. Okay, this is hard. Uh, so let's say RAM is nothing but so let's say I have told right. So around 30 particular tabs you will try to open, 30 or 40. 
and after some time whenever you try to come to the first tab it will take some milliseconds in order to load that particular task once again because that catchy the buffer the cookies whatever you try to whatever you have tried to open prior will not be there in your RAM guys. It, again it tries to give to your CPU and milliseconds and that particular thing how much efficient your particular once again that particular task is being opened okay so let's say you are trying to open the particular tab once again after remote from ram okay how fast that particular tab is open that is being derived by cpu power the processing power how fast your new particular task is being processed is being uh, like uh, calculated with respect to cpu power and ram is nothing but just storage so now i'll try to open the previous tab once again okay it tries to take some nanoseconds guys you try to observe okay so I did not open multiple tabs with uh, something like opening whatever in India I'll try to say uh, importance of of Linux over uh, for DevOps in binary. So something I, I have tried. So once again I'll try to see. See, a blink is happening. So a blink, small kind of delay. Okay. Whenever it is completely removed out of the eye, if you try to see some blink delay is coming. Okay. So that is that will be happening once you are task is out of the RAM and this is nothing but CD. Okay, capacity, formatted, disk type, page, we'll try to see whenever we are trying to talk this partitions and all of the things. Some partitions is needed and memory. Speed is nothing, your clock speed also plays an important role. Your CPU and CPU will have clock speed 2.4. Number of cores, logical cores, you can have four cores, it is what the virtualization enabled. So once you have virtualization in the sense, Enabled in the sense on one particular operating system, you can have multiple uh, like multiple OS read and write operations. Okay, will derive by uh, disk. Okay, average response time read. Okay, write hard disk. Okay, and Ethernet, Wi-Fi. Okay, and graphic card. This is nothing but for visualization. If you try to see some X Y Z movie, high particular 4K. Uh, uh, movie with respect if you don't have decent RAM you will not be able to load on a decent RAM. okay that's how the things will be working okay if you have very minimal of graphic card. to check all of this we'll try to go to performance and this will be there okay similarly if you want to have we will try to run each of the things everything via command skills in that fashion you will be able to get all of your things and these commands all of the things we'll try to see uh, when we go ahead further what is command and all of these things but on rough note, you try to understand these were some of the important con concepts. Okay, DU and uh, DF. Okay, examples, all of these things. Once again, once we are aware with basic commands of Linux, we'll be able to see. Okay, so thanks, guys. If you have any doubts, please shoot it out all, uh, all of your doubts over the comment sessions. And please do like, share, and subscribe for the, all of the encouragement. And let's meet on the next lecture about the Linux, what is Linux and how it is being used.